Hello, hello. I'm Old Bitty Gaming, and thank you for stopping by. Uh, I do want to, before we get started, I do want to apologize for not having any good videos out yet this week. Uh, over the weekend, I came down with a nasty sinus infection and the sinus headache that went along with it, so there was no way I could face the computer. Then, of all things, well, didn't not surprising, but uh, our internet and our cable went completely out. It did not come back up until late yesterday afternoon. Today is Thursday, so it came back up Wednesday late afternoon. Uh, our cable company, uh, well, let's just say that all of their equipment is held together by twist ties and scotch tape. I mean, it's, all their equipment is very, very old, and there's always been rumors that the guy that started it went to the dump and scrounged and got enough pieces and parts to set up a little station and he's gone from there and his son has just taken it over and he's promised he's going to update stuff but so far we have not seen that but anyway it's back up and going now the big news the big news is we are getting ready for a great big update again uh, we're going to go over the notes here in a minute. It is in beta testing, so if you're interested in getting into the beta, you do the same thing. You go into your Steam, right-click on uh, the infected, and go into beta. But uh, I don't. I wait until it comes out on uh, regular gameplay because I want it when it's finished, when all the bugs are worked out, and I have a chance to prepare for it just a little bit more, and this is going to be a big one. So, without further ado, let us look and see what it's got. He says, and you know how the dev is, he is... <laughs> He's very good. Hey folks, happy patch day. We're happy to finally be able to release patch version 13.0 to the beta branch. The patch will be available on the public beta branch until it's moved over to the live branch in about one to two weeks. That's usually about how long it takes for them to take care of, squash all the bugs and make sure everything is working properly. So that gives us a week or two to get ready for it. The thing I want to know, after we go through this, let me know down in the comments or in Discord or whatever whether you think I ought to start over fresh or just keep going on the one I'm on. You don't have to start fresh, but there's some good updates on this one. But let's get into it. Uh, It'll be live in about one to two weeks. That figure is dependent on bugs, feedback, changes. Some additional stuff was held back from this patch because we really want feedback from the community on how the changes deployed today feel in actual gameplay before stacking on more changes. So he's got more changes held back. So it probably won't be long after this one gets going that we'll have another good one. Uh, more changes like adding a second friendly AI. Friendly AI. A lot of under the hood stuff has been tinkered with in order to change fundamental mechanics in the game and existing AI. To access it, right-click the game in your Steam library and hit Properties. Then you'll find a Betas tab. Select Beta and launch your game as usual. Please read the entire patch note post, not just to see what changed, 
but to see what type of feedback we are looking for in regards to this patch. Note that any post on Steam related to the beta must be marked as beta, whether you're posting to bugs, feedback, or suggestions. Be sure to include a beta tag in your title. Also be sure to post in the relevant sub forums as our mod team will be removing moving posts that are incorrect as always. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's dive in. Enemy AI. Look at him. He's twice as big as these guys. This guy is huge. The Nighttime Horde event has been removed from the game. There's no more hordes. Feedback on it seemed to fall into two camps. The folks who weren't interested in it at all, who turned the Vambies off, like me, and the folks who felt it was obnoxious and boring instead of challenging. A new Elite Vambi, referred to here as a mini-boss, has been added to the game. They're a beefier version of the Vambies you all know and love, and they're ready to break into your base to get at you. They have more HP than a traditional Vambi, and the only home defense that's effective against them is a new barbed wire fence because they demolish traditional spikes. This should provide a shift in gameplay. But look at him. He, he looks like he's trouble. There he is. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't look like he's any fun. He's in a bad mood. This mini-boss, MB, can be found in two different groupings of Vambies. Group A is a daily spawner that brings in the MB and two to four attendant Vambies. Group B is a roaming pack of one MB and one to three Vambies, kind of out and about doing their thing. You know, we already have the roaming Vambies that come by and attack you and everything. Now, now we've got a mini boss to get, could get one with them. Don't want to put too many details on the nitty gritty of this spawning patterns here for those that prefer to figure things out on their own. But you'll be able to check back, check our wiki later in the week as our wiki minders update the pages. So that's good to know. If you're worried about, uh, if you're worried about the MB, the new Vambi groups, or not keen about finding the Vambies at all, don't worry. You can change or tweak the Vambi settings via the updated UI, increasing or decreasing their damage against the player or buildings. Player P, building B. Keep that in mind. Uh, so you can increase or decrease the damage. So that helps. If you prefer to play without any Vambies at all, continue on. If you are a fan of the Horde Knight or having Vambi attack your base, be sure to play around with the new settings for the enemy AI and let us know what you think of the new setup via feedback, subform on Steam, or via ticket on our Discord server. These are the only two spots we will be collecting feedback and suggestions. Pardon me. Now the friendly AI. It's been long requested to have some type of helper AI, and this patch implements the first of your new AI pals, Mike. AI development and implementation has taken the bulk of the time when it comes to this patch. Because of all the changes that have to be made under the hood, currently the friendly AI cannot engage in any combat this feature is planned, but it's still undergoing work and we're waiting on supplied animations. We're going to give a small breakdown of the AI d down below, but we're actually going to leave the nitty gritty details on our wiki page out of the game. The reason for this is that we're looking for feedback from players on how intuitive, easy to puzzle out the entire process of getting Mike situated healed and backed on his feet. 
Ooh. And integrated within your day-to-day -day play. All from within the game using the supplied hints or common sense puzzling in game. The notes on the wiki will just be to help folks that might be stuck on things. We'd also love to hear how useful or not folks find having an AI. Since additional AIs are planned. Goody. And please remember to leave feedback via our Facebook sub forum on Steam or via a ticket on our Discord server. Mike will be found out in the world as the player explores. And while you're able to find him from day one, just like the truck, it may take you some time to get everything together to be successful in adding him to your home. Some new items were added to the Idempedia that are relevant to recovering and using the AI. He's a bit under the weather when you find him, so may need a hand on locomotion. Mm. Mike's willing to help out around your base and can assist you with your plants, harvesting, planting, and watering, refilling your log stands, and repairing damaged items. You can even give him a priority list to work from so that he's always working on the most important tasks. While you won't need to pay your AI, he does have needs. Namely, he can't work without food. In fact, you may even find that Mike just flat out won't work if he's hungry. Uh-oh. We recommend checking out your new AI-related placeable list to get him set up and ready to live with you. There's a picture of the priority list. And it looks like it's got down arrows where you can adjust, you know, you can change these around. You might want your logs replenished first. You might want your plants taken care of first. Then repairs, but it looks like you can set it any way you want to. And I'm assuming that that is a house. And that looks like Mike standing right there. He, he, he does look like, well, I thought there was a picture of him. But you can see him back in the background. That looks like his house, maybe. Uh, changed. Meat drop from animals has been decreased. That was a needed change. Yes. The bear especially gave way too much meat. Uh, remove the fish oil from town loot tables. Thank you. This is a biggie. Food will no longer restore HP. Right. Remember that. Food will no longer restore your hit points. Elec electrical relay now costs one iron and one copper ingot. That's better than what it was. A little bit cheaper to make. Added. Repair kit. Hmm, interesting. Watermelon crate and pumpkin crate. No perish time will pass while items are in the crate. Ooh, I like that. Two new AI-specific houses were added to the Itempedia. Okay, so I was right. That, that one house they showed was for Mike. A small med kit. A new wire pole. New bob wire fence. Frogs. Oh, I can't wait to see the frogs. And antibiotic. There's crates. And some bug fixes. Fix the inability for the player to pick up dead animals under the water. Thank you. Uh, placeable objects such as stands and gates, for example, would damage spike if overlapped. Mm -hmm. uh, fix bug where some placeables would consume an entire stack of cans even when the quantity would have refilled it. Yeah, I've run across that, I think, once. 
stone grinder bug where it would not restart automatically if players remove sand fragments from it. Haven't got that far yet. Uh, deleting the jack-o'-lantern would not return the pumpkin correctly. The pumpkin was placed in my normal inventory as an invisible one-by-one -one item and should have been, have been spawned on the ground. <coughs> I don't think I've ever I've had a problem with that one. Uh, when upgrading to cement, the corner ceiling said it required five cement, but it took six. These are all bug fixes. When upgrading to bricks, the corner door frame said it required ten dry bricks, but it only took six. When upgrading to bricks, the corner window said it required fourteen dry bricks, but it took eight. Okay. Health setting for goats did not. The default value is not getting overwritten by the player selection. Okay. So the health setting for the goats apparently wasn't working right. <coughs> Pardon me. Let me get a swig of coffee here. Mm. This is a long one. Uh... Oil lamps could not be placed on the outside of corner window frames. I think, I think I've seen that. Moving furniture and placeables would result in lamps not being able to be placed on them. For example, the oil lamp could be placed on a newly created table, but not after the table was moved. Hmm. That's good to know. Okay, so that is our new update. Oh, he looks just downright mean. He is definitely not in a good mood. So, that we have to look forward to. Uh, what I did while uh, trying to get prepared <coughs> pardon <coughs> pardon me sinus infection is not quite gone uh, we are now into winter it is December yes uh I moved most of my uh, food things inside, so they will have, I haven't got them planted yet, but I've brought them in, so they will have to be watered. In fact, I think I still have one out here. There's winter, there's snow. We need to make some winter uh, uh, clothing. I don't think I've made any. Uh, where do I want to put this? Uh, can I fit it right here? Let's just shove it in there. Come on. There we go. Just shove it in there. We need to get those planted so I can get some veggies going. But I was looking. I thought I had made some, but apparently I haven't. So we need to make uh, some winter clothes. You know, that, that might be a good idea if I'm actually going to go outside. So, I know I am going to need feathers. I just grab two stacks of feathers. And I'm not sure, don't remember what else I need. I think it's mostly feathers. Let us go over here to our workbench. Well, it might be a good idea first to go into here. 
And as you can see, the only thing I'm wearing is my helmet. So, I want to go to Itempedia, Armor and Clothes, and first thing I'm going to need is snow pants. So I need 20 plant fiber and 12 feathers. So let's go get some plant fiber. I knew there was something else I needed. I don't think there's anything in here. No, that's I made a chest to put the stuff in. I just never made them. <laughs> I can't believe that. All right. So let's grab some plant fiber. And you have to make sure that you have room in your pack. So we will uh, do a little rearranging here. Let's get everything... over here let's see that ought to give me enough room so let's okay now uh, okay what did I need itempedia I need armor and clothes and snow pants so I need 20 plant fiber and 12 feathers okay so let's uh, mm, if I remember how to split no well that's okay. I, I'll do it the hard way. Okay, there's our 20 plant fiber, and we needed 12 feathers. Twelve feathers. Twenty plant fiber. Twelve feathers. No? I think I'm going to have to change my... The, my left click button is... Uh, sticking. Itempedia. Armor and clothes. Twenty plant fiber. Twelve feathers. And craft it on the workbench. Okay, crafted on the work pinch. That's where I messed up. So there's, it's not made in your inventory, it's made on the workbench. No pants, and it automatically goes on. So, if we look at our character again, now I have snow pants, and it gives plus 10 heat. That does help. It really does. So, what next? Uh, armor and clothes. Winter coat. 25 plant fiber and 10 feathers. Okay. So I can go. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-five plant fiber. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's our winter coat. Okay. And it gives 10 plus heat. So we've got 20 plus heat now. This gives out uh, 2 plus heat and 4 armor. This gives 2 armor. And these give 2 armor. So I've got 2, 4, I've got 8 armor. And I've got uh, 10, 20. 22 heat. 
uh, let us take our jacket off. since we're inside and it is hot. And let's just put it right there for now. Okay. Pants I think I can leave on. It's a jacket I end up taking on and off a lot. Another thing, I don't think there's anything else that I can make right now. I can't make any boots. Uh, okay. Four cloth and four Kevlar. Do I have any? I've got three. That's clay. I don't think I have any cloth. No. Let us go out here. I did raid. Oh, I'm. What, what do you need? Water. All right. All right. All right. I will give you something to drink, Betty. That'll hold you for a minute. Ah, come on, open up. I did raid the village. Uh, right here. Whenever we did our mineral, mineral extractors, put those in, we raided the furthest one, which is this one. We hadn't ever been to this one. And no, the truck wasn't there. But I did get a bear. So we've got more food. Uh, I got a few things. Got two pieces of cloth few little items I haven't put I didn't put anything up this is exactly what I came back with some wire a little bit more Kevlar some plastic first aid kit and some mechanical parts so we'll take these in and put them up and then I'll bring these back because these are my traveling chests so let's put that one down go back and get this one I need to get some food planted too so if I have enough aluminum, I need a couple water jars, I would think. I am going to need some more water. So that means since we have only snow, We can do it either one or two ways. I have these, the water basin. I can uh, add water from there, or I can get snow. So now I have 200 dirty water. It works just like the lake does and the basin does but I mean you still have to boil it but you can either use snow or you can use the basin it doesn't really matter so let's dump that in there turn that on and while that's cooking Let's go in and see how, I think all I have is just this one I use for water and the one I use for, uh, you know, the little one we start with. Yeah, I've got this. I did make a little bit of canned food, so that does help. 
I don't remember whether I got some new cans. I think I picked up some new cans so we can make some more canned food. So let's go over and see if I have enough uh, aluminum. I think my aluminum is here. Let's see. Yeah, here's some aluminum. So I do have enough aluminum to where I can make one or two more of the, uh, the water things. Let's go out here and get my drink. that put out our fire yes ma'am please put it out and let's grab a drink there we go but I think that is all I, I did Oh, I, I did build the uh, coal heater to help keep the plants warm. You will have to make sure that this stays warm or your plants will freeze. And I believe we need to go ahead and kill that bear. I want to get as much meat together as I can before that new new update goes live or we uh, unless he increases the animals our food is going to be few and far between but to keep it 73.4 in here I've got the coal heater going and I have my furnace going I do want to get a iron ore extractor going I had enough to do it, and then I ended up building that coal heater. I didn't realize we were that close to winter. But anyway, please let me know whether you want a new start with the new update, or whether you want me to just keep doing this one. Uh, I will go either way. I mean, there's a it's a big change, but you have to stop and remember he's got more additions after this update. How much I don't know might not be much uh, I know I don't play with the AIs right now so I'm that doesn't affect me any uh, you can be able to turn them off I did notice whenever I was watching a couple other people's intro on the new uh, update that you can go into your settings your options and turn off let's see if we can do that let's see options I guess can't do it in this one okay uh, but we can uh, we can go into our game options and set turn on or off the town vambies, the wandering vambies, <coughs> the uh, the new mini boss vambies. You can set their <coughs> their uh, strength just just like you can the animals and the other vambies. So yeah, it's it's he he's got it. Looks like he he knows what should happen and just hopefully everything will work as planned but anyway that's got to do it for me today I want to thank you for visiting every one of you are very important to me I really appreciate you uh, if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up you know hit that like button it does help tremendously uh, leave me a comment letting me know whether you want me to start a new game when the new update comes out or just keep playing this one uh, 
it's up to you guys so let me know uh, any tips tricks on getting through winter I usually restart before winter hits so really this I think this is going to be one of my few winters that I've gone through and I think it's going to be a long one because I have set my days for a month I think I don't remember now anyway I've got a feeling it's gonna be a long winter uh, yeah <coughs> pardon me but if you would like to see more you can always subscribe I am playing six different games and there may be something in there you're interested in it's free doesn't cost a penny but uh, most of all as I always end my videos I want each and every one of you to have a wonderful day or evening whichever time zone you happen to be in but I'm old bitty gaming and I will catch you in the next one goodbye <laughs>